Hi everyone, it's your girl Benji. Listen, y'all, I had the most epic 30th birthday celebration, like for real, traveling to not only one, but four incredible countries. I traveled to Australia, we did Bali, we did Thailand, and then we did Singapore. Join me as I take you through the highlights and share all the amazing experiences. Our first stop was Australia, and after 26 hours of traveling, we finally made it to Australia. I was tired. Right there, we were checking in at a hotel. We stayed at the Four Seasons, and it was beautiful. That hotel was amazing. And one thing about my husband, he got to make sure he got a nice view. One thing I like, our room was right across from the Oprah house. Like, look, it was right there. And I couldn't wait to go visit it. We thought, like, it was so far away until we went outside. And it was just walking distance, literally. <laughs> After we wake up, we went outside and, you know, we were hungry. So we went to this restaurant. We went to eat. The food was amazing. I ain't gonna lie. After we finished eating, we definitely went to the Oprah house to take some pictures and videos. And it was nice. I, I From there, we did a lot of walking around. We went to the garden. I don't remember the, I don't know why it's not in there. But we did do a lot. And then we got tired, went to the room, fall asleep. We had to go to dinner that same evening. We overslept and didn't wake up until like two in the morning. <laughs> and when we wake up, that's when we had to, you know what, let's just go to the airport. And we went to the airport, trying to catch this flight to go to Bali. Right now we are in the airport, I believe at two or three in the morning on our way to Bali. And let me tell you, I was ready. I was ready, like literally. After spending so much time at the airport, we finally made it to a flight. We had to split. We didn't go in one flight, y'all. Like, we had to split. We didn't sit together. We didn't go on the same flight. Like, it was <laughs> this trip. Oh, my gosh. But we made it to Bali. We are about to land. Listen, I don't know. I'm not in Bali anymore, but I'm still excited. Like, <laughs> I'm excited to share with you guys. So we finally made it to Bali. We are at the airport, walking to immigration, about to. Right there, we was looking for a driver. We finally find our driver. Okay, let's go. On our way to the Airbnb, we finally made it. I I don't remember what time we had there. We got there, but it was super late at night. But let me tell y'all something about this Airbnb. Oh my God, isn't that like? It was the best, like, point blank, period. I don't care. It was the best Airbnb in Bali, okay? Come fight me. It was beautiful. It was gorgeous. It was, oh my gosh. Listen, our Airbnb was the best. Come fight me under the comment. <laughs> I'm playing, but, like, yeah, I like that one. Like, in my opinion, it was, it was beautiful. So, let me give you guys a quick tour, of course. Come on, come through the bedroom. All of them had their bathroom inside. They all, like, they all pretty much looked the same. It was a five-bedroom, five-bath, and it was just two of us, two, I mean, two couples, like, four of us. So, we only needed, like, two rooms, but we ended up using all the rooms, y'all, yeah, all of them. <laughs> we did use all of them. And one thing I like about this one, too, is the fact that, like, it has an outdoor shower. I haven't taken a shower outside since I left, like, since I left Haiti. So that room was a plus for me. That's why I had to pick it. And it did have an indoor shower as well. But I shower in the one outside every morning, every day. And yeah, this is the pool area, the sitting area. Like I spent, we spent so much time there. Like we'll wake up at two in the morning and just go sit in the patio. It was so peaceful. Like Bali is just something else. It's just a vibe. It's just peaceful. Like I could stay there my whole life. And not get tired, like I swear. Bali was just nice. But let's continue. Now that you guys don't see this big house, let me know what you think in the comment. Like, tell me. Like, it, we even had our own gym. Like, beautiful. The Airbnb was nice. If you guys need information, let me know. I'll definitely share with you guys. Um, this was the next morning, which was the day before my birthday, and. There, I was just waiting for them to finish with the flower pool they were fixing. Um, the chef was inside making breakfast, and I was starving, y'all, and I had to... We were supposed to do floating breakfast in the flower pool. 
but I was so hungry, so I had to come inside and try to like eat because I couldn't wait no more. The flower pool take forever for them to finish, but after it was done, like they did a great job. They did that, okay? They did that. And right there, I was having my breakfast in the pool, of course. And they even did the top. It was beautiful. They did an amazing, amazing job. They did the. And guys, everything you see on the video was basically arranged by our host. All we had to do is to let them know what we need. I mean, not me, my husband did everything. All he had to do is to let them know what I need. And he basically get all the vendors the morning off. Everybody was there to make my day. Y'all see the bathroom? Indoor shower, outdoor tub. Listen, <laughs> it was it was like everything that day was just about me. And I loved it. Oh, it was amazing. He definitely did that. Like I had so much fun. So much fun. At that time I was basically taking pictures. Shout out to my husband and G Step. They come with the drone. They was doing drone footage, like photo shoots. They did that. When I said those guys definitely came through, they did that for me. Like this stuff was on the drone. My husband was behind the camera. After the photo shoot, it was time for me to head out. And here I am walking out this door like, yeah, rich auntie. Like, just call me rich auntie, okay? <laughs> just to go take more pictures, you guys. I was basically leaving my house from a photo shoot to another photo shoot. And here I am at the place where you rent those dresses. Guys, knowing what I know now, I would have purchased my dress and take it with me. Because paying, I believe we pay in total like 200 just to rent those dresses, it was not worth it. So if you're planning on going, definitely buy your dress. As you can see, the dress is not big. It's, it's not like it is not big. It's just long. So you can definitely just buy that piece of dress and take it with you. Huh? And if you're going to do the fine dress like this, please, guys, please make sure you have something under your dress. If not... All your butt gonna be out like <laughs> and while you're doing that swing as you can see there's people in the bottom everywhere the people that's pushing you when i tell you everything gonna be out just make sure you have a leg and like something just make sure you have like a short pants under your dress okay because i'm not gonna tell you what happened to me but other than that this photo shoot was beautiful i found those people on ig ask me down below i'll share it remember bring your cash a lot of places they don't take cards you must have cash and for when you go some places not all of them but some of them of course and that's how the day went from photo shoot to more photo shoot to more photo shoot and now i'm on my way out to go have dinner with my husband we had a wonderful time together and then home, we really didn't have much sleep because we had to wake up early in the morning to leave the house at 5 a.m. just to go to the gate of heaven. Uh, it was an amazing experience. To get in, you must wear cover up. They give it to you upon entrance. They're not going to let you in with what you're wearing. Everybody had to cover up themselves. So, yes, when we had to go up there, it was a workout to get up that. It was a workout, as you can see. <laughs> And since we made it to the gate of heaven, right there, we was waiting for a number to be called when you check in. When you get in, you have to get a number and wait for that number to be called just to take that pictures. It was a very long wait. While you're waiting, you can absolutely go around, walk around and take other pictures. What I learned is that for the flying dress, if we knew, we will definitely have the have the photographer come here instead because there's way more amazing scenes for pictures and right there it was my birthday dinner and we are tired exhausted but you know a birthday girl gotta go out for her birthday and here i am doing an outfit check my husband always behind that camera you guys always like he never missed we didn't go far away from home because we was tired this restaurant was so close to the house it was okay our next morning in Valley, okay, we had to try this day club 
um it's a three four stories on pool in Bali. it's called the Critia. everything about this was amazing like i said they have live djs during the day starting at four which we missed because we went super early and we left early because we had other plans for the day but the food there was amazing the drinks was amazing definitely uh recommend highly recommend it to go if you go visit Bali and and if you are planning try, just try to go on the like on the afternoon so you don't miss the club like we did but overall it was great after we had the boat picnic with the koi fish we had to go check in at another hotel not a, not check in but we had to go to another hotel to go do that one which is the boat picnic with the fish this was also an amazing experience i enjoyed like feeding the fish i enjoy everything about this shoot you guys when i said this Bali trip was all about photo shoot and videos it was like I enjoyed it and after that I think we went straight home and go straight to sleep because we was tired and then we wake up with those guys being here of course we're gonna have another floating breakfast this was our last day at this resort which I'm gonna miss here I am checking out myself waiting for my food to be done because I need to eat I'm hungry and of course I'm you see this glow right here listen like Bali, Bali made me look good. Bali looked good on me. Tell me. So here I am having my floating breakfast. Of course, more pictures. And over here, we was ready. I was ready to check out. Here I'm checking out myself. It was time for us to leave this Airbnb and go to our next destination. Our driver stopped with us at this restaurant. I love everything about this one. I love the food. The dress was good. And the one thing I liked too was the fact that we sit right by the fish tank and we were feeding the fish. I just love playing with them. I don't know why I love them. That's one thing I miss about being in Bali. And here we are in Thailand, you guys. This was our Airbnb here. I remember when I got there, I had to do laundry, you guys. I had to do laundry. There was a washer, but no dryer. I put the clothes. Listen, that was so ghetto. But this is me enjoying myself. I believe that was the morning. And here we are, ready to go out and explore the city. We just doing a quick outfit check. Damn, that man fine. And here we are having breakfast. We were having breakfast that morning. And listen, my nails. I had to go get that done. And we were, we went to a nail shop right there and they were doing we all had manicure pedicure and it was so cheap to get those done it was a, an amazing experience you guys three people on me like come on but when i said the customer service the service was just amazing and this is the finished look yes. Val, you ready for the grand reveal you like it yeah okay and then we went home, get ready for the next adventure. Yeah, this car. Listen, our next adventure was ATV. That's what my husband B wanted to do. So that day was just for him. He said, he said, that was the only day on the trip. Listen, he looked like a happy like baby waking up on Christmas Day. Like, I'm so glad that he was able to do what he always wanted to do, which was RTV on the jungle. And then from there, we went to this place, the Big Buddha. Big Buddha. That's the name of it for real. But yeah, we had to cover up as well to go up there. But when you get up there, this is the view. And this view, when I say it's amazing, it's beautiful. Like the view up there is beautiful. Now that we are done, see what we had to see up there. We are on our way back going down. And the view going down as well. It was beautiful. We had to take a stop so we can do more swing. <laughs> we had to start to do the swing and it was an amazing experience for real for real before the day over listen we was hungry on our way home we saw this market we just had to jump out the car and go there and when we get there we could order food you order your food they make it right in front of you and we sat there we ate like this fried rice right here it was 
everything. It was great, okay? This was the next morning. We had a tour. We had to get on the boat to go to this island. I mean, it was a cruise and it stopped at seven, seven different places. And let's just look, okay? At this point, just look at this. When you get off the boat, those little canoes, they come and get you. That's how you get escort from the boat. They take you kayaking. They take you into another island. We were enjoying this. Everything about this was so beautiful. The water was so peaceful. And I could just jump and swim. But we didn't. I didn't want to act crazy. And it takes you there like... It was so scary when you passing by, there's places I have to like put my head down so my hair don't get stuck because as you can see, like, you see, <laughs> and then one of my favorite one was this one. I forget the name, but I'll put it on the video because I always see it on IG and I always want to go there and here I am out of the seven. This was my favorite. I enjoy the water. I enjoy taking pictures there. And that same evening when we get home, it was dinner time. And here we are checking out ourselves to go have dinner at this amazing restaurant. Over there, the food was Chef Chris. Like, it was delicious. That was my appetizer. We you know when the food is good, I'm going to take pictures. So here, that's what I had today. Then we went home because we were tired with what a day we had. And then the next morning, we also had to wake up early in the morning to go spend the day with elephant. There, you could see me feeding them, bathing them. We make their food. It was an amazing day that day. We like spent a lot of time with them, and it's good to actually like know elephant. Knowing me, I will get scared of them, but yeah, I wasn't. But here they teaching us how to make Asian food. Like it was pad thai, so we ate together. We make the food. We ate together, and then after that, we were tired. We went to get a massage. Like you can't go to Thailand without trying that massage. It's something else. Like they. Did that after my massage we had lunch right outside the place food was good always and here i am just checking out some street food check like this is not recommended this corn was not good at all i mean i saw it i wanted to eat some corn so bad i asked for it but it was guys good. this is the next morning for some reason i don't know how when we got here but this is me in a whole nother country i i totally forget about like videos from the airport but this is me at the hotel we were ready to have breakfast um at our hotel and it was gorgeous this is the mall we came to the mall to do some shopping because you know if you go to singapore only thing you're gonna do there is to go shopping there's not much to do it's just a beautiful city it's just like amazing it was beautiful so we did some shopping i went to louis vuitton one of my favorite stores and then of course i went to get a bag and i was really debating between that green one and a white one and then i ended up getting get up, getting the white one and here we are this was that evening we did had um reservation at the selavi restaurant we went there it was an amazing experience the view the food everything about this was amazing it was this day the night it was beautiful in singapore and yep this was my dessert my birthday dessert i'm still celebrating my birthday four days later because it's still my birthday like That's it. the view was just breathtaking it was great here we are the next morning on our way to the hotel now it's time to leave singapore the trip if is finally over i miss my kids we were on our way thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you are new here welcome i will see you guys another time